Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today we are going to work on the next ray diagram made in a convex lens. In that case, we are going to place the object between the lens and the focal point. We are going to place the object between the lens and the focal point. Right, so as usual, we are going to draw the two lines. One line starts from the top of the arrow. I take it up to the optical axis. Now passing through the focal point. So as usual, no changes. Simply all of you will draw. Now I think all of you are in good form of drawing that. So I am placing the arrows. Yesterday's arrows I have retained for today's work. So here I have placed the arrows. And this diagram is ready. Now the second diagram. Second one I have to draw the ray through the optical center. So here the optical center diagram. And for today, I am going to make these ones in color form. That's the reason. Wait. Let's make this one in red in color. Let's keep this one in black in color. Let's draw the arrow here. that should be here also fine so that's your appearance you are keeping your eye here and see it so do you think these two light rays they are going deviated from each other there's no chance for them to meet they will not meet see see the diagram is there any chance for them to meet no chance for them to meet so, what I am going to do is, I am going to, as usual yesterday, I am going to extend it backwards. Yesterday also, I extended it backwards. Hope you can remember. Yesterday also, they didn't meet. Today also, they are not meeting. Similarly, I am extending the red one also. Right. So, when I do extending, you can notice, you know that one, first of all, uh, these extended lines are not real light rays. They are not real. So, I, I have to use broken lines to show them. Okay. Real light rays. If they are real light rays, you don't need to use broken lines. Broken lines mean they are not real light rays. That's the reason for showing them in the broken. The full lines are real. Okay. So, here, there. So, my children, you can see here. These two light rays are uh, seeming. Actually, are they meeting? No, 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 no. They are not meeting actually. But they are seeming they are meeting. You can just feel that they are meeting. Okay, and there is the place where the image is formed. This image also should be drawn in broken lines. It is now called a virtual image. It's an opposite word for the word real image. It's not real image, it's virtual image. Right? So, overall, your diagram, your diagram's appearance should be this way. Sorry. Should be this way. Hope all of you can see the diagram. How it's going to be. 
right fine so today the properties are going to be slightly different okay because the first time you are meeting a virtual one right i'm going to write the image properties the first image property it is an upright image upright image or we can call it an erect image second one it is a virtual image it's not real we don't use the word not real we use the word virtual if it is virtual if it is virtual it cannot be it cannot be fallen on screen in all the time when i was telling you real i was emphasizing it can be fallen if it is not real is virtual cannot be fallen on screen and the fourth one it is bigger than the object it is bigger than the object that you can describe by the word magnified and you cannot write you cannot write the location but one more thing i am going to write object and image are located in the same side of lens object and image are located in the same side of lens okay so that is the uh, final the images in con vex lens is finishing today i will give you a different idea tomorrow that will be another section in unit 5 okay i am only practicing you to complete the unit 5 very faster when the classes are started so when these things are covered you can easily uh, jump up those sections those portions of the unit 5 and complete certain parts that we can learn from the class directly okay my children complete it we'll meet tomorrow inshallah assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh